Hello everybody, it's me, Esther Barkew, and I just wanted to pop into your day today with an energy update. If you read my Facebook post for today, March uh, 22nd, 23rd, into the 24th, we've got a planetary influence that's happening that is really going to rock our world in many ways. Um, it is Mercury in conversation with Pluto and Jupiter, and it is not a friendly conversation. But the good news for us is what this is going to do is unearth and bring to the surface reality, truths, secrets that we have been hiding from ourselves, perhaps not wanting to face. I had one earlier this week when I realized that something that I really, 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 really want and I had been taking steps to create but just wasn't coming together, I had this, it's because you're not 100% committed to it. And where there's lack of commitment, it's wishy-washy. And it shook me because I would have said, if somebody would have said to me, Esther, you're not committed to it, I would say, of course I am. Look what I do. I take this step and that step and I do everything possible. But it's right, deep down, there were still benefits, there were still motives not to have that which I desire. I had to get really clear. Am I committed to it? Yes. Am I willing to do and be what it takes to achieve that which I desire? Absolutely, yes. And what do I need to start or re-implement now? So that's all underway. Now, a couple of days later, I get hit again with another whopper. And so what's happening to me today under this energetic influence? And I share with you my story so that you can learn from it, get some tips, um, maybe even make sense of what's going on in your life. Because if it's happening with me, then I suspect if you're watching this video, you're also experiencing a similar type of situation, but unique to you. And so what has come up for me this morning is you're not good enough, which again took me aback, surprised me because I really claim my I am enough, I am good enough, but this is a very sneaky layer of it and that's why I wanted to come and talk to you about it. So just as, a, as an update, right now I am going through a very personal expansion in my business, my healing practice, how I am of service uh, to the world and how I offer my gifts. So there's lots of things changing. I'm in the process of changing my website, personal sessions, readings are changing, programs that I'm doing, everything. So when you're going through an expansion and everything is changing, Wow, all kinds of things happen, right? There's dismantling, there's a bit of chaos, there's looking at new blueprints and checking this out and checking that out and ooh, change is happening and that in turn between change and a variety of emotions can come up from you know, exuberant joy to yes, we're gonna do this to oh my gosh, it's so much work or can I really do this, okay? So that's why, and here's tip number one, I like to play in that space of neutrality, the zero point, just taking a step back in the midst of everything going on and just being calm, neutral, still, the observer. So I can really watch what's going on, watch what's presenting, and then make choices that are supportive to me and my expansion from the state of neutrality. And I encourage you to do that as well. And so while all this is going on, and then we have today's planetary influence, I get hit with you're not good enough. And I'm like, what do you mean I'm not good enough? I didn't buy it. And what I heard from inside was this voice that says, oh, you're good enough. In fact, you are enough. You are more than enough. But this expansion that you want, you're not good enough for that expansion. Okay. And maybe something like that has shown up uh, in your life, it, it comes up a lot when I'm working with people in relationships. They'll say, oh no, I know I'm good enough, but I'm not good enough for that person. Oh, I know I'm good enough and I can do that job, but I'm not good enough for that job, right? We've given our power away to something that we perceive as bigger, as greater, as out of our scope of possibilities. 
So then, once I became clear on that, I am good enough, just not good enough for this expansion. I'm like, well, okay, what do you mean about that? And then I got the real answer. And the answer was, you need new systems, you need new methods, you need new strategies, you need new platforms. You do not have the foundation built for the expansion that you seek. And I said, but I am, I'm building that foundation. And what I heard was, yes, but we need to go deeper into building that foundation. And I was still talking within, I said, so this is not really about being good enough, it's about making sure that I have the strong foundation in order to create this expansion that I want. And I got the answer, yes. And then I said, well, then why did you say I was not good enough? And what I heard was, that's what we call it. That's what we've always called it. And I realized, oh, that's old energy, old programming, old default coming to the surface. So as soon as I uncovered that information, right away it was like, okay, it's not really not good enough. It's I need to build this platform. And then now I got to get real with the information coming through about this new platform I need to build and deal with. So um, I'm continuing to look at it from the place of neutrality. Now I have a better handle on it. I can really sit with it, meditate with on it, make some really great choices for myself. And now everything, instead of going, oh, what do you mean I'm not good enough? I'm like, okay, I've got the information now. And I can tar start taking steps and start manifesting those platforms, the foundation that I need to create this expansion that I'm in the middle of. And so I wanted to pause in the middle of all this and come and tell you this story, okay? So if things seem to go a little wonky in your life over the next couple of days or any time, okay? You can use this information anytime. Turn within, move to that place of neutrality of zero point. Get still and calm, okay? That's a great place to be observer. And then turn within and ask questions, okay? Maybe that you're not good enough that you are receiving or whatever's coming for you is actually meaning something else, like it meant for me. It's just using old words, old programming, old energies to get its point across, all right? And all of this will empower you, empower you to keep on keeping on, on that highest path of potential and be the beautiful divine creator being that you are. All right, so until the next time, I send you much love. Ciao.